So unfortunately, as we talked about on the last slide, he did get his leg blown off by a cannonball. Now, as you can imagine, back in those times in the 1800s, there was some medical treatments, but they really weren't very advanced. Um, and so after he lost his leg, he was left behind and obviously bleeding profusely. And then he actually died alone on July 29th, 1861. He was only 32 years old. His wife, Sarah, was 24 years old when he died. Um, the other really bad thing is, is that they... When they returned for him a little while later, they couldn't find his body at first, and that's because the Confederacy had gone hold of his body and had done some really terrible things to further just humiliate him even after his death. Um, so when they finally found his body, he was buried. All right, so he was he was killed, um, died on July 29th, 1861, and he was only 32 years old. Now let's see why this letter is so important. Let's take a look. <laughs> 